Hello class, I'm Dr. Mark Rojai. This chapter, the title of this chapter is Planning and Forecasting. And our learning objectives are importance of planning, explaining the roles, goals, and objectives, identify strategies, discussing different type of forecasting, such as Delphi method, and several strategies for managing technology. After this brief introduction, a PowerPoint presentation with follow, and at the end of that, I will come back and highlight the key points. Chapter 3 Planning and Forecasting Management functions is divided into Planning Decision making Organizing Leading And controlling In this chapter we will be discussing on planning and forecasting Chapter Objectives Explain the importance of planning Identify missions Explain the roles of goals and objectives Identify strategies Define the different types of forecasting Describe the Delphi method Define different approaches to forecasts Discuss some strategies for managing technology. Planning Provides method for identifying objectives. Design sequence of programs and activities to achieve objectives. Effective planning Plan to plan People implementing plan should be involved in preparing plan. Planning what must be done? Who will do it? How will it be done? When must it be done? How much will it cost? What do we need to do it? What is the problem or purpose? Establish goal or objectives. What client need is being satisfied by the project? Identify success criteria The foundation for planning Mission Purpose or goal Objectives Strategies All the above are customer driven Strategic planning the identification of vision and mission is the first step of any strategic planning process as shown in the figure. A vision statement describes in the graphic terms where the goal setters want to position themselves in the future. A mission statement resembles a vision statement, but has a more immediate business focus with a time horizon. SWOT Analysis Strengths and weaknesses are considered as internal factors. Opportunities and threats are external factors. Planning a goal statement. Why? What do we do? For whom do we do it? Planning goal statement is used to gives purpose and direction. Used as continual point of reference for questions regarding scope or purpose. Following are the planning objectives. More detailed goal statement. Clarifies goal. How do we go about it? 2. Action verb. Consistent with organization. Planning development objectives. SMART is abbreviated as Specific. Measurable Attainable Realistic And time limited Strategic plan Suggests ways, strategies, to identify and to move toward desired future states Consists of the process of developing and implementing plans to reach goals and objectives Strategic plan is not a business plan. Not an operational plan. 
Vision A vision statement describes in graphic terms where the goal setters want to position themselves in the future. Vision Example Vision of Eastman Chemical Company To be the world's preferred chemical company. Vision of Microsoft in 1980s A personal computer on every desk, and every computer running Microsoft software. Planning mission statement is First step in planning process What do we want to do? Mission statement, resembles a vision statement. Has a more immediate business focus with a time horizon. Mission of PALS is to, to deliver excellence in food service while providing a menu focused on exceptional quality. Mission of Southwest Airlines is dedication to the highest quality of customer service, delivered with a sense of warmth, friendliness, individual pride, and company spirit. Following are the characteristics of objectives. Outcome, what is to be accomplished. Time frame, expected completion date. Measure, metrics for success. Action, how the objective will be met. Goals and objectives. Following are the Drucker's objectives for organizational survival. Market share. Innovation. Productivity. Physical and financial resources. Manager performance and development. Worker performance and attitude. Profitability. And social responsibility. Management by objectives. Commonly referred to as MBO. Corollary MBWA, management by walking around. Forecasting. Forecasting is essential preliminary to effective planning. Engineering manager must be concerned with both future markets and future technology. Why forecasting? Forecasting is used for a New facility planning Production planning Workforce scheduling Long-range forecasts is used to Design new products Determine capacity for new product Long-range supply of materials Short-range forecasts is used to know the Amount of inventory for next month Amount of product to produce next week How much raw material delivered next week Workers schedule next week Forecasting qualitative methods Jury of executive opinion Delphi method Salesforce Composite Users' Expectations Choice of Method Delphi Method Eliminates effects of interactions between members Experts do not need to know who other experts are Delphi Coordinator asks for opinions, forecasts on subject Develop Objective of Forecast Determine number of participants. Select and contact participants. Develop first questionnaire and submit. Coordinator analyzes responses. Develop second questionnaire based on results of first. Analyze responses. Rounds continue until consensus reached or experts' opinions cease to change. Forecasting quantitative methods Time series methods Moving average Weighted moving average Exponential smoothing 
Explanatory forecasting models. Multiple regression. Technological forecasting. Normative technological forecasting is working backward from the future to the present. Exploratory technological forecasting is the Delphi method. Technology S-curve, the performance gained from a new technology tends to start slowly, then rises almost exponentially. Strategies for managing technology. Invention and innovation. Producing the first product is often not enough, innovation must continue to keep the product line competitive. Managing technological change. Top management in technological enterprises must constantly be aware of the technologies, underlying their business and the potential for change. Planning and forecasting is one of the most complex topics of these days. In this chapter, we briefly discuss this topic. One reason many companies have gone out of business or performing poorly is due to the fact that they are not doing a good job in forecasting and planning. A good example of a company going out of business recently was a circuit city due to poor forecasting. Due to rapid changes in te technology, high-tech companies are more vulnerable to lose market share to their competition if they do not forecast correctly and understand the trend customer wants. One example is Motorola. In spite of, in spite of being a leading maker of a mobile phone, they have lost large share of market to Apple and Samsung due to their poor forecasting of what customer wants. Remember, planning and forecasting is critical for success of a company.